uh, to send events to a node. We, we can add them here. And in this case, we want to read a register like this. And in that case, we want to use class protocol, which is a standard protocol uh, class. And read register, we just select that. Uh, we don't need to set a priority, but we do that in this case. Uh, and the UID is also uh, not needed in this case. But uh, so read register, we have to tell which node we, we node we want to read from. And in this case, we can read from node one and what register we want to need uh, read. And uh, in this case, we, we can set uh, register one. So one uh, comma one is read register one from node one. Uh, we can write this in, in hexadecimal if we want, like this. I'm oh, sorry, like this. Or we can mix it in, in any way we like, hexadecimal and decimal. And uh, okay, we have it there. Double click on it. And what we see here is the red read register is sent here, class it. And it's a transmitted event. Hope you see that. And we get a response from the node, class it protocol, read write response, which is what we expected. And it's from node one here. And the node says that re register content of node. Uh, the re register zero, one <laughs> is two in this case, so it works. Uh, if we want now, we can save this set as a set. Um, oh, sorry, um, we can save this for later use, and uh, we can call it TX set. In this case, which is, which is the default. So, if we want to uh, take up a, a special um, set of, of uh, transmission um, events, uh, we just load. And in this case, we say no because I don't want to load. This. And we select the set, it can be as many events, events as we want, and, and we load it. And okay, because I didn't remove it now, I, I get two of them. I see, I can send them out like this. Uh, oh, like this, if I want that. Or uh, many, like this. Uh, if I want to remove um, a line, I just remove it like that. Or if I want to edit a line, I can do it like this and, and do some edit with it. So this is how the session window works. Uh, the other part that is interesting is the configuration window. And again, we get to this window and we set, select the local uh, peak um, interface. And we come to the configuration window. And this window has some, some uh, parts. Um, we select the node that we want to talk to. In this case, we, we select the first node, node with the nickname ED1. And we can look at the registers for that node, the abstractions for the node, and if it have as a decision matrix, we can see that also. Uh, so to see the registers for this node, we just press update. <coughs> and what it does now is, is the last part here is it goes out to the web server pointed out by the device in this case, uh, a Lithuanian web server, and, and fetched the, the MDF file from it and get the descriptions from for this module. So everything is in the device, um, and um, uh, that information is fetched from the service server. Uh, and as you see here, you have clear text data for, for this node, and uh, the zone and the subzone, as you have here, is in 
explained in clear text. And if we want to change this, we want to change it to 45 instead. Uh, we just do that. You saw that I, I wrote it in decimal and it changed to hexadecimal here. And I can just write it out back to the node like this. And um, it's fixed. Uh, and if you look at this, um, when I change a value here, it's written out in in um, uh, red. And um, after I do an update or write it out, it's uh, written out in in blue. Unchanged values are uh, in, in uh, black. I can press an undo here to to restore the original contents. And okay, here you have your user settings for this device. Uh, it's different things, the code for it, uh, you have some extra stuff. The zeros here are, are uh, empty positions. Then you have the standard registers here, the alarm registry, major versions, um, user ID, manufacturer device ID, sub device ID, nickname ID, this is this device one. The page select register, firmware, firmware major, uh, minor sub versions the bootloader algorithm, uh, it's a PIC algorithm in this case, the buffer size which is 8, standard, number of registers used, this model has it wrong I see, but then you have some reserved space and the UID for it, uh, for this module, and then you have the, the MDF file at the top, I uh, see here in clear text also, I have the Register contents here. Uh, apart from this, you also get um, this data in a clear text format below here. And they have a node ID, the UID, the MDF URL, uh, if it's alarm condition on it, uh, node control flags, the firmware, uh, firmware VSP confirmance, it's 1.5 here, uh, user ID set, manufacturer device ID, manufacturer sub device ID. And um, you see which page is selected. Uh, firmware version is uh, 0.0.2 in this case. Uh, bootloader algorithm, microchip pick algorithm zero. Um, eight bytes register, number of register pages. Uh, this is wrong, really, but um, should be changed. Changed. And uh, also uh, the size of the decision matrix. Uh, in this case, we have no decision matrix. It's zero rows and, and uh, the offices is zero, so etc. Uh, we also get some, some manufacturing information and um, VCP RFID module is this and um, it's model 2000. We have some clear text here about what it is. Uh, the URL for, for uh, information about the module. The address to the company that makes it is e-devices, etc. Uh, if the module has some abstractions made for it, it's, it's, uh, we should think of abstraction as a higher level than re register. Um, in a, uh, for an abstraction, you can look at the data as a 32-bit value instead of four registers. Uh, in this case, we have no, no abstractions. Uh, we have no decision matrix either.